Hey, Lucy Bronze here, Man City and England right back, and I'll be mentoring Ella across the next few weeks. Hey everyone, I'm Ella, I play for Manchester City on 23s, I'm a central midfielder, and I'm so excited to learn from Lucy Bronze. How amazing is that? Welcome to Skills Sorted. If you play football and have the dream like I once had of reaching the top of the women's game, then you're in the right place. So much hard work goes into being the best and that's what this series is all about. So I've teamed up with Gatorade and the Gatorade Sports Science Institute who do really cool stuff to advise young ballers like you on how to improve all aspects of the game. Across the next few weeks, we're going to be delving into all aspects of performance, including fuel, hydration, recovery, and menstrual cycles. We've got you covered. So this week, we'll be discussing fuel. Hi, I'm Rebecca from the Gatorade Sports Science Institute. Let's talk about fuel. During a football match, a female football player will use between 600 and 1,000 calories. That fuel will come from fat and carbohydrate stores, which are in the body. So how do we get enough fuel? We advise that you eat three hours before a match. This meal should have 2.5 grams of carbohydrate per kilogram of your body weight. Then have another 30 grams of carbohydrate 60 minutes before a match. And of course, half time is a great opportunity to also refuel. So let's put this advice to the test, where we will look at how fueling correctly will impact performance. For test one, this will be done in a fasted state, which means that Ella will complete a repeated sprint test with no fuel or food. Test two will be completed after Ella has followed her advised meal plan. Morning, look how dark it is outside and it's steaming down. I fasted this morning, I'm just on my way to do my performance test. So, very excited. I've never fasted before, so it's really weird, but It'll be exciting, I can't wait to see how it perform. Fingers crossed, we'll get there on time. The traffic's been horrendous, to say the least. But I'm starting to get a bit peckish now, so I'm gonna not concentrate on my food, just concentrate on the test, how I perform in it, how I perform when I'm fasting, and then I'll let you know what I eat after, and let you know how the test goes. Hey, hey Ella. How are you? How are you, how okay? are you feeling today? Good, thank you. How is I feel it a bit weird, bastard. I was going to say, yeah, you're a bit hungry. <laughs> yeah. yeah a little bit. <laughs> but you had much to drink in the car? Um, it? I didn't really have anything to drink either. So, feel, not feeling top yeah. form today. Yeah, I feel a bit <laughs> oh, that's okay. That's good because what we'll do is obviously this test will be fasted and then we'll do the nutrition advice which we gave you yesterday. We can talk through that in a bit more detail. But when you come in and do it the second time, hopefully you'll feel much more energised and you'll be able to do it much better. So, um, so yeah, shall we get down to the test? For test one, we're going to do with out the ball. So you're going to sprint from cone to cone. So starting on the green cone and then going to the each of the orange cones. So you're sprinting in and out. Ready, Ella? Three, two, one, go! It's about two and a half seconds of turn, isn't it? Nice. Last one. <laughs> you actually get better the more you do. I think you get used to doing it. Because one thing I, I always get told when I'm turning is to like lower my body a little bit around like the leg that you're turning on. So if you turn on your right leg, you get your body lower so you can push away. Yeah. And you actually got better as it went on, but the first one you're still a little bit more upright and then you kind of get a little bit lower. Yeah. But I think that's a, just like something that maybe could help you a little bit, get a little bit faster. Three, two, one, go. Go on, go on, go on. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was faster. <laughs> Just, <laughs> but it all counts. Yeah, it does. So then the second drill that we're going to be doing is similar concept, but with the ball. So we're starting on the green cone again, but this time we're going round each cone and um, cutting diagonally until you get to the end cone. Okay, you ready, Ella? Three, two, one, go.
is good though. I don't really know what to say to make it better. You're doing so well. <laughs> yeah, I think you um, messed that up by saying I know, I like, <laughs> I don't really know what to say to make her improve and then... <laughs> I was like, she's doing really good. Like, I can't, I can't really give her any tips to help her and then literally you hit the last girl. So just don't hit the cone. <laughs> I've done all my testing, I met Lizzie for the first time today and she was so lovely, made me feel so comfortable. I asked her for a bit of advice on my on one of the tests and I did it the next time and got quicker so that was amazing. Um, I'm feeling quite hungry, I need to eat my banana and refuel. Um, so I will catch up with you when I get back. Hi! Hey everyone, I'm just making my tea now. I'm making chicken, rice and veg. Um, I'm going to put some avocado oil on my chicken to put it in the oven and then I'm just making my rice in a pan and my broccoli's done so I just need to pull that but I'm not going to do it on camera because I won't burn myself. Hi everyone, I'm leaving the training now. I feel really fueled, really energised and I'm loving following the advice. I didn't even realise how much I should be eating before training or even like just normally so anyway, I'll see you at training. chicken and olives. I've got a little protein shake in the back as well but I can't get that right now. I actually don't know where it is in the back but it's in the back. Um, I've got an hour's journey home probably without the traffic and then I'm getting showered and straight into bed because I've got a game in the morning. Not in the morning, it's at two o'clock but I've got to be at city for 20 past 10 because it's against Aston Villa away so. Morning everyone, it's game day today, it's Wednesday. We're just on our way to Academy and I'll bring you along on my what we do on a game day, we travel, so we're travelling to Aston Villa today, so it'll be about two and a half hours on the coach, can't wait. I've got half a sourdough bagel because the other half's in my belly, I've already eaten it, I was just still hungry, um, but they are very high in carbohydrates so it's ideal before a game, it gives you a lot of energy which increases the amount of time, like it can be intense, like you tackling, running, jogging at high intense for longer, um, which is fab. And it also helps your mind stay um, sharp, switched on, and uses our mind uses it for fuel, so it's great. Okay, finished my bagel. Now I'm onto this pancake. Gorgeous, so simple. A bit of chocolate spread, some chia seeds, a little bit of blueberries, little bit of blueberries. I don't know why that was so helpful, but um, and then my pancake's so simple to make. Literally two eggs, one banana, blend it together, put it in a pan, voila. So we're like half an hour away now. Um, I'm just gonna have my lunch. It's like a chicken and feta salad. It's got peppers, some energy seeds in. I'll show you what it's like when we get there. Hey everyone, we finished the game. We lost, um, what was the score? 3-2. 3 should have won. Um, but we move on. Upwards and on. Upwards and, what is it? Upwards and onwards. Onwards. onwards and upwards. I'm not going back on the coach, but I'll speak to you as well in the car. So everyone say bye. 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 Hey everyone, I just got back from the Villa game. I'm still a bit disappointed with our loss. However, the positive I can take from it is I felt like I could have played so many more minutes and I just had more fuel in the tank. As some might say, I'm still on limited game time due to being ill and my injury. So I'm looking forward to going back to full minutes and yeah, can't wait. So looking back over this week, I'll probably say I've been so much more energised. I've felt so much better with eating the right food and eating the right amount of foods. Um, I've just, I made before I um, played a post-match smoothie, so... I'm excited to have that now. I feel like I'm so much more organised in what I'm eating. Here's my post-match smoothie. So I'm going to eat that now. 
I'm here now, I'm fully hydrated with Gatorade and fully filled with my meal plan. I'll update you after and hopefully I get better than last time. Okay, ready Ella? Three, two, one, go! Nice work. Keep going. Go on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Last one. Perfect. Well done. Nice. Three, two, one, go! And going right to the end. Nice. I think I'd have smashed that one. We'll see, Ella, we'll see. Hi, Ella, how are you doing? Hi, Lucy, I'm good, thanks. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Uh, so we got the results in from uh, your second test. But I don't know if you know, but your sprint and your dribbling speed were a lot quicker in the second one. Um, so your second test, there was two seconds faster. Uh, did you did you feel like it was a lot faster? Yeah, I, I did a bit. I just didn't think it'd be that much of a change from like not eating to eating. I didn't think it'd make that much of a difference. Did you feel like a bit lightheaded when you were doing it without eating? When I when I hadn't eaten, I just felt like not not myself, like not tired and just not like your focus. And, yeah, yeah, like just and like getting out. your getting your body moving. But I guess. Obviously, not eating is extreme, and then to have a lot of carb, but yeah, like the two second difference is, is amazing. So yeah, I'm 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 probably just as happy as you are with, with that. <laughs> Thank you. So again, yeah, them Gatorade drinks are really good to to put your sodium back in your body and stay hydrated, and actually the fuel as well. Yeah. So that's our fueling done for this week. Next week's episode we'll be looking into getting better with your hydration obviously there's been a little bit of crossover this week anyway with the fuel but yeah hydration is as another part that we can improve so don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you uh next time ella see you later lucy thank you Take care.